Hi there, um, so I'm going to teach you now how to use Microsoft Excel to enter some data. And this is going to be our data from our Nerf Gun Lab, Nerf Gun Projectile. So I've started Microsoft Excel and uh, I'm actually working on Sheet 2 down here. Uh, sheet 1 is the data that I put in from this morning um, or this afternoon. But sheet 2, I've got a clean sheet so we can start over again and I can show you how to do it. So you can really type anywhere you want. You can start up here in this A1 cell or you can move down and you say, oh, I want to give myself a little room, so I'm going to start right over here in B3, just for the heck of it. So let's start right there in B3. So I know we want um, height data, so I'm going to just type in height, and that's in probably centimeters, but it could be meters. So I just hit it, type it, and enter. I'm going to come over to the C3 cell here, and I know I need um, uh, distance, horizontal distance of travel, so I'm going to call that distance and we're going to measure that in meters. So I just type that in and hit enter. And notice I'm, I need a little more room here to display all the characters. So I'm going to come up here till the cursor displays like that and I'm going to click and drag over and I'll do that with this column too to, to widen them. So now I can see all my characters here and I can highlight the whole column so the cursor changes to a little down arrow and I'm going to click and then drag over it to highlight those two columns and I want to center those so I want to make those anything I type in there center so I'm going to click on center so I'm making it look pretty now and I click on just the B3 cell and I'm going to click and drag from B3 to C3 to highlight just those two cells and I'm going to underline them so I have a, a bottom border here it's called so now I'm I've underlined my column headings there. So if we look at um, the data, I think it went from 50, so I just type in 50, enter, 60, enter, 70, enter, 80, enter, and 90. Oops, enter. And if you make a mistake, whatever, error, just go back in and just type what you need to. Now the data that uh, they captured as Aaron, Miriam, and Humberto, uh, they captured five sets five trials at each height and that's over here so I'm gonna just I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna copy and paste it and I'm just gonna pretend that I'm gonna type it in over here so I could type it in blah 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 over here um, but instead of doing that I'm just gonna you know I can I can put this data wherever I want I can put it over let's put it down let's put it down here oops where'd it go so over here copy and paste so there it is and I can I can center those there we go click on it a couple times there to get them centered and so it looks a little bit nicer there's our raw data so here I actually I want to take here's our first trial right here these five five runs right there so I want to take the average of that so I'm going to come up here, and that's the average of those who are going to go right here. So I'm going to say equal, and that tells, tells Excel that the formula is coming. And I can type an average, and it tries to start guessing for you. A, V, so there's the functions that begin with A, V, E, number, edge. And the first one is average. I can stop typing right there, or I can just click on, and then click on this one, or I can keep typing average but double click on that one and now it wants the average function wants a range of numbers so I'm going to say well I'm going to click on this one and drag to that one so those numbers right there so B11 which is this one all the way over to F11 which is this cell and I'm just going to then type in the close the parentheses there and hit enter and there it is so 5.82 is the average of these numbers right there. And if you're ever in doubt, just double click on this and it shows you what the, the function is again and it shows you what data it's it's looking at. So these right here. Okay, so I can like highlight this and now I can take this corner right here, the lower right hand corner where the cursor changes to a small plus sign. I can take that and drag, click and drag it down and what was in here gets copied to these below. Now Excel is smart enough to know that, okay, if this was 
this row of data, then the next one down should be the next row of data. And let's see if it actually took that. So if I double click on that, sure enough, average of the next row of data. And this one, sure enough, average of the third row of data. So Excel's pretty smart. So there's our data right there. And that's all we have to do to enter it into the spreadsheet. Now we're going to graph this data. So we're going to click and drag. So we've highlighted these two columns, including the, the headers here. And they're going to come up to insert, scatter, scatter plot. And we can put this wherever we want. We can drag it over here. I'm going to click on this legend here and just click on it, highlight it, and then I'm going to push delete and get rid of it. And I can make this as big or as small as, oops, as I need to. I'll move it over here out of the way. There it is. And um, there's our data. That's pretty much it. We could, uh, you could take this and you could copy it if you wanted to. This graph, just hi click on the graph to highlight it and then copy. Um, copy and then you can come over to Microsoft Word or something and paste it in there if you like. Um, if you don't like the way this data is over here, you can let's see if we can double click on this legend down here. Let's see, no, double click to do it. Let's try right clicking. On a Mac, that would be a command click, I believe. Uh, so let's see, format axis. Oh, you see, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, way down the bottom here is format axis. And rather than drag that out of the way, rather than start at zero, how about we start this at 40? So here, so rather than zero, we can start this at 40. And let's see what that does for us. Well, there we go. It just starts the graph at 40 a little bit. And rather than start the vertical here at zero, we can maybe, I'm going to right click or on a Mac again, command click, format axis. And let's start it at uh, about four rather than zero. So we're going to say fixed at four. There we go. So the graph looks a little bit nicer. It makes better use of our our area of our plot, and uh, and that's it. So again, I can uh, I can if you like you can copy this and I can close Excel. Do I want to save that? Uh, yes, I do I want to save that. So I'll get rid of that. Um, pop up um, Microsoft Word, a word processor. Here it is, and I can just uh, now uh, come in here and um, paste. And there it is. Okay, here. Grr. Half. Here's my graph. So there you go. I hope that helps. We'll see you later. Bye.